uh, Board of Development from Hans Skov Christensen, please. It's a good tradition that we, at this annual summit, try to honor people who have served, served very well for the Baltic Sea Corporation. And you all know that um, we always are asking for sponsors. And remember that, that we are you always welcome uh, without being asked uh, just to sponsor the activity in, 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 in Baltic Sea. It's a great pleasure for me in a minute to introduce what I would call a golden platform. One of the companies who have supported us in BDF for a number of years. They are dear and close friends. They are co-sponsors here. And they have uh, been a member, loyal friends for a number of years. It's a pleasure for me to ask the CEO of Latvinergo from Latvia. They have been members for a number of years. Aris Sigros. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Latvenergo, it's a great pleasure for me to announce the winners of Baltic Development Forum's Baltic Sea Award 2013. For the first time, the award goes not only for one individual that has made an extraordinary contribution to the Baltic Sea region, but for two. Quoting BDF's honorary chairman, Uffe Elemon Jensen, it goes to a European dynamic duo. Side by side, they have called for innovative ways of thinking on how to keep Europe together in the aftermath of the economic crisis by strengthening the links between European countries. The two have jointly taken new initiatives to foster the political dialogue, new configurations and cooperation in Europe. The two winners have in particular taken initiatives to improve dialogue and partnership with our eastern neighbours and to move beyond traditional thinking. And they have pushed forward European and regional integration in general. Representing an energy company in Latvia, we know how crucial it is to cooperate successfully with your neighbors and to ensure European integration, European networks and open and liberal markets. Through the years, the two winners have both shown statesmanship and stamina using their energy and actions to address the European and global challenges. At the same time, they have continuously prioritized cooperation among neighbors in the Baltic Sea region. The recent Foreign Ministers' meeting of the Nordic, Baltic and Visegrad four countries in Gdansk this year was one such fine example. During their respective EU presidencies, they have also prioritized the EU strategy for the Baltic Sea region. This year, Baltic Development Forum and its gold patron Latonergo have dedicated the Baltic Sea Award to the dynamic duo, Ministers of Foreign Affairs in Sweden and in Poland, Mr. Karl Bildt and Mr. Radislav Sikorski. very sorry that I can't be with you in Riga tonight. It's uh, clearly one of my favorite cities and the issues that you are discussing are issues that are very important to Sweden 
and very near to me as well. Uh, secondly, of course, I am very as honoured by the prize that you have awarded me, along with Radek Sikorsky. Uh, developments in the Baltic region are of fundamental importance for Sweden. And I think what we have been able to achieve during the last 20 years or so has come very close to realising our vision of all of our countries being, as we say, at the top of Europe, a new centre for commerce, for peace, for development in different ways, establishing trade routes, reforming our economies, integrating our societies so as to provide both better security for the entire region, that should not be forgotten, and uh, improving the conditions for the economic and social development of our respective countries. This is only possible by working together, be that in politics, or be that in business, or be that in other respects. And the fact that we have linked up the Nordic word, the Baltic word, and increasingly the Visegrad word, Central Europe, through the active cooperation with Poland, signified by this prize as well, is, I think, of particular importance. So I'm very honoured. Um, I see it as uh, uh, an obligation for me and others to continue to work for the aims that are so important uh, that we all share. Thank you very much.